Victor Axelsson is the reigning world and Olympic champion. Talk about a strong half of the draw. This is remarkable. And when you consider the bottom half of the draw in the second round here, we only have one seed left in the bottom half. And that's the 2018 beaten finalist, Chou Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei. So fascinating men's singles. Draw in general. Presenting from Malaysia, Li Xijia. Li Xijia, the number four seed from Malaysia. The Asian champion won his gold medal earlier this year in Manila, beating Jonathan Christie in the final. His opponent, Kanta Suniyama, who is in his third, second round here at the Denmark Open when appearing in his fourth event here. Well, this is a very physically strong athlete and a former All England champion, of course, he won that title last year. Now, this, I can tell you, will be a third meeting between these two players, and both previous meetings have been won by the Malaysian Li Zijia. Last time they met was the quarter-final of those Badminton Asia Championships. I was telling you about that Li Zijia went on to win. So, of course, he won that quarter-final encounter in Manila. So, Kanta Suniyama has won the toss of the coin and chosen ends and wants to start this near side of the court. So both these players highly regarded in world terms. And of course, Kanta Suniyama at the French Open last year won the title, so he has a victory in a Super 750 tournament, whereas this man, Li Zijia, has yet to reach a final of a 750 event. He's 24 years of age from Alostoa in Kedar, and currently enjoying his fourth consecutive week at his career high of number three. This is only his third appearance here at the Denmark Open, Last year, he reached the quarter-final. And in the first round this year, he beat Mark Kallior from the Netherlands in two straight games. Two titles this year, not only the Asian Championships, but the Thailand Open 500 as well. So to his opponent, the 26-year-old Kanta Suniyama, born in Saga Prefecture, Western Honshu. He has been as high as 10 on the world ranking. In fact, 16 weeks in total across two different spells. So he's currently down at 15. He beat uh, Chiko Wadoyo of Indonesia in three games in the first round. And remember, Wadoyo uh, won the Malaysian Masters 500 event, having been promoted from the qualifying earlier this year. So that's... Uh, uh, understandably, was a tough match against Wadoyo in the first round. So our court officials from Denmark and Ready to play. Latvia. Well, I was saying Lee Zijia has won two titles this year. Looking at the results of Suriyama, he hasn't actually been as far as a semi-final for one whole year since he went on to win that French Open last year. And, of course, the French Open is traditionally a week after the Denmark Open. So it is exactly a year. And this man here has not got as far as a semi-final in any tournament he's played. Only five tournaments, though, this year. Ah, now here's the Li Zijia fans. Got masses of them all over the world. And on my left, Li Zijia, Malaysia. Li 
yet to serve. Lobo, play. So the Asian champion, Lee Sijar of Malaysia, getting this second round men's singles match underway against Kanta Suniyama. Now, I'm pretty certain that Lee Sijar has made even Seven more up. fans here in Denmark because One. he's been training here no. for a week prior to the Denmark Open and he's taken time out, I've seen from social media, to talk to the kids in the clubs where he's been training and signing autographs and having selfies. And I'm sure he's made himself very popular. And rightly so, he's a charming young man. That's a beauty. What a super shot. Two, one. Great disguise on that. Just missed it. Service over. Two, all. Oh, that's brilliant. How did he create that power with virtually no backswing? Three. Take a look at this. Just watch the backswing. There isn't one. That's just the loosening and tightening of the racket grip, creating that power. He's got to be careful from this near side of the court. On those lifts and pushes. Shuttle definitely flying fast towards the Malaysian's end of the court at the moment. And you can't afford to hit anything short to Lisi Shah either. Very powerful player. Five straight points. Yeah, another error. You see, he's so worried about hitting short to Lee Zijar that he's hitting long of the back line. So difficult to control when you're hitting with the drift. Seven straight points. Yeah. Total control at the moment, Lucy Sharp.
Look where he's playing that from. Always tell by where the feet are of the player playing the overhead shot, whether the lift was of a good length, and you could see that was woefully short. Wow, oh, amazing. Nine straight points from two all to an 11-2 advantage for Lizzy Jarp from Malaysia. ま、センターで勝負して、センターで勝負して相手がさ、フォアを張ってるのかラウンド張ってるのかそこだけ判断してそっちじゃない方にさ、打ち分けるロブイングね。だからさっきさ、なんか後ろあと2回したけど、後
score is that? 18-4. Well, he's the one that chose ends when he won the toss of the coin, Suniyama. So presumably he thinks that playing from the far end is easier. his Five, thought 18. process anyway. If he thinks he's playing from the better end now, then he really is in big trouble. That's good placement of the smash down the line from Lucy Sharp. 19-4. Defense. Beautiful. Well, he's played a, a couple of pushes from the front of the court as Lise Jacques. And that's because of that, this little block then becomes so much more effective. And he played that to perfection, it got the net court. So, game point opportunities. A whole host of them for Lise Sharp. 20, game point, five. Brilliant backhand, cross-court smash to close out the opening game. 21-5 opening game to the Asian champion Lise Jacques in just 12 minutes. Extraordinary. ビッグカイさんの相手を食らえたらさ、やっぱスピードもパワーもさ、ね、あの、なんで力強さもさ、1枚目は動いてるじゃん。で、ま、簡単な自分のキャパよりも、あって相手1歩動いてるじゃん。
That's gone wide. Well, there's no. Oh, there is a call from the line judge. The line judge says in. Challenges called in. Suniyama begs to differ. No, I saw that as good. What does the instant review say, though? It was good. So that's a wasted challenge from Suniyama. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. That's a great lift from there. I think Lee Zizha was slightly fortunate to get away with that. I don't think it was a very good smash. She seemed to mistime it or something. Four, one. Yeah, it wasn't near enough the line either, but it forced the error, which is what he wanted to do. Oh, no. That's more like the power play we have become a used to from the Zijar. Speed of movement back in court. Six, one. Coupled with the angle of the smash and power of the smash. And this is six straight points now. Seven straight points. his side, but Eight. Suniyama, watch Suniyama's legs there. There was no way he was going to be able to change direction for that. And very fortunate for him, it didn't go over. There's a challenge here, I think he'll lose that challenge. And then he'll have no challenges left in this second game. I thought the line judge got that right. Thought it was out. Here we go. Oh no, it caught the line. Surprised at that. Correction in. Three, eight. Hmm. Make your own minds up. His attack is just so devastating. And Suniyama just simply Nine, doesn't have any answers to it. And look at the body language of Kanta Suniyama after the rally. That's very worrying if you're a Japanese fan.
More left. Service over. Four, nine. Change. Oh, he's working his way back in steadily. Suniyama. So to the mid-game interval with a five-point advantage as that push from Suniyama goes long of the back line. Way long. Well, time is running out for Kanta Suniyama. Got to start making his move soon. Different Malaysians has won the Denmark Open over the 11, previous 70 Play. editions. Those five Malaysians won seven titles between them. A couple of titles to Tanai Wan and two titles to Lee Chong Wei as well. In fact, Lee Chong Wei was in three consecutive finals, four finals in total. Oh, what a backhand. And talking Seven of Lee Chong Wei, I'd like to wish him a very happy 40th birthday Seven. for tomorrow. Seven. Can't believe he's 40. He still seems so young to me. Well, 40 is young. What am I saying? Certainly very young in comparison to me. Well worked rally, patient play from Li Zizha, waiting for the right opportunity.
he's now got the problem and of 13. controlling the clears to the back of the court. Do you see Sharp? Another example of that. And again. Three consecutive errors out the back of the court from Lee Cijar. And now only a three point deficit. been a seven-point deficit at one stage in this second game. Well, well, well. This is far from over now. Four straight points to Suniyama, and all of a sudden it seems very believable again. Oh, yes, what an angle. He's got a devastating attack, he really has. There's his coach, Indra Wajaya. the line. Placement. Good use of the body smash towards the right hip of Sumiyama. That'll be one of the longest runners of the match so far. If not the longest. 14, 15. So now just one point in it. back level well this is quite extraordinary really I mean when you think that Lee Cijar was a game and eight one up looked to be absolutely cruising 
I don't know whether he's taken his foot off the pedal or quite what's happened. But, I mean, I'm struggling to remember Sunyama actually winning a rally, playing a winning shot. I've seen too many of those 16, clears 15. from Lee Zijar going out the back of the court. So, Quick. for the first time since he led one love in this second game, Suniyama goes into the lead once more. Another one goes long off the back line. Gosh, I wish I'd been keeping account of the number of errors 17, out the back of the court 15. from Lee Zijar. Eleven of the last 13 points to Suniyama. From 7.13 down. Yeah, that's what we saw so much of in the open game. Taken. Watch how he stands his ground at the net. He's absolutely looking for the drop shot. So, in a blink of an eye, he's back level again. Dangerously is Li Xi Zizha. When you consider that he was in so much control of this match, he'll be kicking himself if this goes to three. Oh, that's a missed opportunity from Suniyama. Li Zizha had backed off the net. Look, he's backing off. There was a gap at the front of the court. But Suniyama making the error. Oh, once again. Lizzie Sharp was waiting at the front of the court, waiting for the drop shot. Watch his movement here. Oh, we're maybe not going to see it. We're not seeing it. 20, point, oh, what a precision net shot. And that wonderful net play has earned him a match point opportunity. 2019 to the Malaysian.
just landed in. That was a misjudgment from Sunyama. And Lee Si Jia, the Asian champion, is through to his second consecutive quarter-final here at the Denmark Open. 21-5, 21-19, the margin of his victory. A match lasting 35 minutes. This is the final rally. Sunyama was convinced it was going to go wide and realised that he had made an error in judgment there. Clearly in. And the victory to Lee Zijia. I think he will have to focus a little better in his upcoming quarter final tomorrow against Jonathan Christie because he seemed to just take his foot off the pedal today against Sunyama. But there is confirmation of the score, 21-5, 21-19 in 35 minutes. So welcome back to Orthanza. Second round action today at the 2022 Denmark Open. Next up, we turn our attention to women's singles and it's the former world and Olympic champion, Carolina Marin of Spain, the number four seed here this year, up against Han Yue of China. Well, this match is from the top half of the draw. And also in the top half is the two-time and defending champion, the two-time world champion, Akane Yamaguchi. Nozomi Okuhara also in this section. She won the title here in 2020, having been beaten in the final the previous year. So with Marin also having been in the final of the Denmark Open, that was back in 2020, two years ago, uh, we have five players in the second round who have contested a final at the Denmark Open previously. Four of them who have won the Denmark Open previously. Strong draw, women's singles, as it always is. We're really in a golden age of women's singles at the moment. 